Many people say I have a good attention span. Actually, a perfect attention span. <laughs> Remember that old myth that the attention span of a goldfish is nine seconds? I don't, but that's what people say. Well, sometimes it feels like the human attention span isn't a lot better, which, wait, what was I saying? Because politics imitates life, it can be very hard to keep our elected officials on task, especially when it comes to, you know, doing their job, like passing laws and stuff. So take gun control. At one point earlier in 2019, the gun control debate was the issue on Capitol Hill. After devastating back-to-back -back shootings in El Paso, Texas and Dayton, Ohio, grand statements were made. Congress was almost called back, and it seemed like just maybe something was about to happen. Heck, even the White House was involved. In early August, Attorney General Bill Barr and White House Legislative Affairs Director Eric Uland circulated a draft proposal on Capitol Hill that would have closed the so-called gun show loophole. Except a few days later, White House spokesman Hogan Gidley made it clear that whatever Barr and Uland were shopping did not have the president's sign off. Quote, not even close, said Gidley. That's great. That's good. That all very, very unified. Now, while some hope did still remain that the two sides might be able to find common ground, that hope was crushed, or at least took a big hit, at the third Democratic presidential debate in Houston in September. Now, to refresh your memory, in that debate, former Texas Congressman Beto O'Rourke voiced his support for a mandatory buyback program on AR-15s and AK-47s. Here's that clip. Hell yes, we're gonna take your AR-15, your AK-47. We're not gonna allow it to be used against our fellow Americans anymore. O'Rourke's comment led to, of course, a Donald Trump tweet. Quote, dummy Beto made it much harder to make a deal. Convince many that Dems just wanna take your guns away. We'll continue forward. End quote. And scene. Especially when the country got distracted by this new hotness, a whistleblower complaint that Donald Trump had abused his office by using it to pressure the president of Ukraine to dig up dirt on Joe Biden. Whew, it's complicated. Now that complaint alleged that in a late July phone call, Trump used his office to quote, solicit interference from Ukraine in the upcoming 2020 election. The complaint also said that the White House took steps to cover up that call. Okay, the details of that are roughly this. In a phone call with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, Trump asked the foreign leader to look into corrupt allegations against Biden. Now important sidebar, there is no evidence of wrongdoing by either Joe Biden or his son, Hunter Biden and important sidebar. Okay, amid the firestorm, the White House released a rough transcript of that Ukraine call, which actually made things worse since it showed Trump quite clearly pressuring Zelensky on Biden while reminding him of everything the US had and could do for Ukraine. Within days, the House, led by Speaker Nancy Pelosi, had launched an impeachment inquiry. And anyone who knows anything about politics knows this. Impeachment is such an all-encompassing fight in Washington that it blots out the sun for literally any other issue up to and including gun control. Even Republicans who controlled the Senate couldn't dodge the impeachment train. In late September, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said the Senate, quote, would have no choice, end quote, but to take up impeachment if the House passed articles charging the president with crimes, according to the Senate rules. Now, unsurprisingly, amid this fast-moving pinwheel of controversy, what an image, gun control has barely been mentioned. And the moment you actually pass something may very well have passed. So if you're waiting for a new background check bill or an action on assault rifles, you'll be waiting a long time. Washington, like all of us, has a short attention span. Unfortunately, it's already moved on. And that is the point. We make new point episodes every Tuesday and Thursday. Check them all out.